Welcome back. The island's chief education officer, Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer, says unlike adults who have continued on with their lives as normally as possible during the COVID-19 pandemic, children have really lost and missed out since being kept at home. She says it is important to listen to their true feelings on the matter, especially the return to school. Our children have been asked to stay home. And I will say that we have not given our children the voice. We've not asked them. How have you felt being at home? And what has been the impact on you? We have tried to engage National Student Council and our National Student Councils within our schools, but that's a limited population. So we must balance our need as adults to protect them. That is all well and good as parents we want to protect our children, but what about them? The spirit of giving did not end with the Christmas season, but continues into the new year. On New Year's Day, the Pierre Foundation set up in the Castry City Hall and provided breakfast and lunch to the less fortunate. The founder of the organization says the mission to aid as many less fortunate individuals as possible will continue. On New Year's Day, the Pierre Foundation provided breakfast and lunch to over 100 less fortunate individuals in Castries. Founder of the organization, Shakima Pierre, explained that the organization set out to put a smile on the faces of the less fortunate and is simply seeking to continue doing what they have always done. The Pierre Foundation, throughout the COVID-19, we have still been able to reach out to different persons, less fortunate, and those who are underprivileged. We believe that throughout the year that we would continue to support and provide meals as well as clothing for them. Member of the Foundation and CEO of the Castry City Council, Wilfred Pierre, explained that the group sought to provide balanced meals while supporting local and spread cheer as the festivities were far from over on January 1st. In the meals, what we try to do is so to make it as balanced as possible. We have incorporated some things that my daughter have, have, have of some recipes using moringa because as you know moringa is a very um, nutritious product so we have used that in the salads and in the egg omelet that we have so the idea is really to to really push even local local um, products city police officers were seen supporting the initiative as well as ensuring that the covid 19 protocols were kept sergeant of city police yone kamshan says the department is always pleased to assist when it comes to initiatives of that nature for the first day of the year, I, am, I must say kudos to the Pierre Foundation for bringing this venture forward because feeding at least 150 to 200 persons, that's quite a few, and they're also doing breakfast and lunch. So the city police basically were there to ensure that the, that the physical distancing protocol. was enforced, protocol of the COVID-19 was enforced to ensure that everybody had their mask on and they adhere to the protocol guidelines. Pierre explained that despite the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, many people supported and provided the organization with food items as well as clothing items that were donated. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Genevieve Gonzalez. One youth group in the south of the island has donated food hampers to members of their community. The group Circle of Evolution is based in Sufre and is focused on providing for single parents who have lost their jobs due to the COVID-19 pandemic. One youth group in the town of Sufre said they are on a mission to change the lives of residents in the area. The group Circle of Evolution says they are hoping to influence as many individuals as possible. President of the organization, Edisa Eugene, says the group consists of youth who are hungry for change. We are a group of young persons from the community who wishes to enhance the youth now for the future tomorrow by giving those in need a helping hand. We want to assist our youngsters in becoming who they truly wish to be, hoping that our influence will not stop with them, but we will continue to raise a generation of youth that will change the community and furthermore the world. She explained that although newly formed, the group is aware of the many people who have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. That, she said, served as a catalyst for the group to provide help to single parents within the various communities in Sufre. As a result of this pandemic, COE saw the need to reach out to single parents because there were a number of them out of jobs struggling to keep their families afloat. Hence, there was no better option for us to start this hamper drive as our first initiative, not only to support the young ones, but the parents as well. 
we set out to find donations in order to assist and with these donations we received we were able to make 25 hampers which were distributed throughout the constituency or Sufre for Senja. Eugene said the group plans on hosting many more initiatives in the coming months, not only to assist those in need, but to form bonds with the members of the various communities. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Janive Gonzalez. You're watching the Hot 7 TV Nightly News when we return the latest weather forecast.